Okay, everybody, uh, guess what I've gotten today, which will be going into that computer. This is a 2008 Netgear gigabit or gigabit wired Ethernet modem, which is a PCI removable. It supports Windows 7 and Windows Vista for sure. It's compatible also with Windows 2000 ME and Windows 98SE. Even Windows NT 4.0, it says. I'm going to show you how to unbox the thing. It says it speeds up to a, a thousand megabit bytes per second. Let me get the plastic off. The pla yeah, it's a little wet because I spilled some. A little. Get a little screwdriver out of here. Here's something that's open. I got one hand holding it on this camera. I if I can get it to open to go through that. There we go. Let me show you what comes with it. Yeah, you gotta kind of fight the plastic. There we go. Nice. See how you open it though. It's kind of tricky. It's a little... Oh, you open it from the, you open it from the side. I see. And look what comes in it. It's got its manual and driver CD. And of course, the modem itself, which is in a anti-static bag. To prevent a static shark stop. Ah. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and install this modem into the PC. And let me try and install some drivers to see what I come up with. Okay, now I finally got the Ethernet modem put in. Now let's go ahead and install the drivers and see what we come with on this thing. Okay, now I got the computer on and powered up and everything. Now I got it all detected. Let's see what we get. Since we got a Ethernet modem put in and the CD for the drivers is sort of let me get to it. Hardware wizard. Show you proof that it's in the hardware wizard. Oh, device manager. I just finished installing the modem here. See network adapters, see right there. Netgear GA311 gigabit adapter. The reason why you may not be able to see it that well because of the monitor's lines. This is an old CRT monitor. That's the whole entire reason. And as you see, it put in an icon like right down there by the time. And yes, and I'm running it on Windows 2000 Professional. So, that's enough to show you for now. And one thing, those of you who want to see Windows XP running on this, I cannot get it to run. Because the bad thing is, this computer went, now only runs with 64 megs, because the slot for the uh, other 64 stick do not work. Sorry, I can't be able to, I tried to install it, it was too, too slow. So I'm going to go ahead and do another video to replace it. So, I'm going to see you guys later.